What's up guys, Wild and Customs here and today we're going to take a look at Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Ultra Magnus, the new version right here using the old Optimus body uh, Here, let's take a look at the back, pretty cool Alright, let's open them up Alright guys, so here's Ultra Magnus in vehicle mode and it looks pretty nice, obviously he's using the old Optimus Prime body recycled but it's not a bad thing, they did a good job in keeping uh, in using the body and also making it into an Ultra Magnus uh, his own body itself so it's pretty cool looking. Obviously a little uh, different paint job and stuff like that. A little add-ons in the back over here. But still a really decent job. Over here as you can see he has some cargo which is the wings and his hammer which is pretty cool. They come right off. You can uh, peg them in over there. But just looking at the truck itself. Nothing new here except for over here. Which becomes these shoulder pads for Ultra Magnus which is pretty nice. Ultra Magnus definitely is my favorite character of all Transformers. Really happy to see him on the show, and a pretty good character. Um, definitely a main character, so it's pretty cool. And if you don't believe me, check that out. No, no, not that. There you go. Boom. Uh, I definitely loved the first version. Well, not. It definitely had its own faults, but um, definitely fought, pretty cool to have a figure of him. Uh, but I'm really happy to have updated and more accurate version. So let's get into the transformation really quickly. Skipping the transformation because Ultra Magnus and Optimus pretty much are the same exact one. The only difference is that his shoulder pads pop up and they flip around. If you really want to see the transformation, check out the descriptions. I have a link there. Alright guys, so here's Ultra Magnus in robot mode. And I have to say, he looks really screen accurate. I like how he looks. Def Hasbro did a, definitely did a great job at making this guy not only look screen accurate, but he looks... Pretty much like his own figure. He doesn't remind me of a reworked, retooled Optimus Prime figure. He definitely looks like his own figure on his own and that's definitely a cool thing. I do wish the blue was a little bit more darker and more screen accurate but it really isn't that bad. I feel like they went the whole G1 route and tried to make it a little bit lighter which is not bad too. But they did a great job in accenting the body scope using some dark blues over here. And uh, just overall did a great job on that. What I do like also is the new shoulder pads, if you want to call it that. Definitely looks really nice. Better than the first uh, the first Ultra Magnus version that came out early this year. Uh, let's get into a quick look at him up close. Do you see his new shoulder pads? Which I'm going to call it. His head. New chest, which is really nice. Different from the Optimus Prime. And just overall, it's a really great looking figure. He does come with a couple of accessories. He comes with a couple of missiles. What you want to do is you bring this down, put it in there, and kind of push the back so it shoots out. It's pretty cool, but I don't really care for that. I like keeping these things up. Uh, it looks more screen accurate in my point of view. He also comes with a couple other things, which is the a jetpack and the hammer of, uh, I'm sorry, the forge of solace. I hope I'm saying that right. But it's pretty cool. It's supposed to be gold on a TV show, but it's not that bad looking, sil looking silver. I think it matches them a lot better when it's silver. And you could hold it in this hand. That's pretty cool. I do wish this actually could stick onto the back somehow, but it doesn't. There's no peg or anything like that. Uh, but what you do is you take the jetpack, kind of clip it on like so bring down the panels to match up over here bring out the wings there you go. and that, that's pretty cool looking, definitely not that bad a lot cleaner than the Optimus Prime version I feel like let's fold the wings down if he's not using them and from there, you could take the hammer and stick it on the back over here. So that's pretty cool. I do wish that this figure did come with a blaster. I don't understand why half of these Transformers don't come with guns when they use it 90% of the time on the show. Uh, but what I like to do is take this gun. Kind of reminds me of when he was storming the, the Decepticon base and he fought Megatron when he first, I think the second episode he was in and uh, I think that looks pretty cool I 
For articulation, Ultra Madness has a ball jointed head that goes left to right. Doesn't go up and down that much though, but there's a little bit of give there. Ball jointed shoulders, as you can see. Bicep over here, elbow, wrist joint if you want to call it that. Nothing in the upper body. Ball joint at the hips, thigh swivel, knee, and also an ankle pivot, which is pretty nice. So you can still get into nice poses, pretty standard articulation. Pretty cool. Like I said, I like to give him the gun. And everything looks pretty cool like that. Ultra Magnus is my favorite character of all the Transformers, even from G1. Uh, definitely just loved him, I don't know why. I, I liked how he wasn't the leader, he wasn't Optimus Prime, but he was definitely big enough, strong enough, and I guess not mentally there, but then he definitely had the ability to be second in command at least. Um, also, I love how he's depicted on the new Transformers Prime show. A lot more serious, I guess you could say, more of a leader if he wanted to be. Like I said, he did lead the Autobots when they thought Optimus was dead, so that was pretty cool. And uh, that's definitely just a great figure. I'm really happy. He definitely is a lot better than the first version that came out. Blows it out of the water. Um, the Hasbro did a great job in making Ultra Magnus into his own figure. And like I said, not just a reworked, retooled Optimus Prime one. So, so definitely pretty cool. Really happy about it. Size comparisons, here is Ultra Magnus with the first version and Optimus Prime. Like I said before, they do have the same base body, but Hasbro did a great job in retooling him and reworking him into his own figure. As you can see here, the key differences, the chest, the, the shoulder pads, the head, the paint job, this great job. The more I look at him, the more uglier he looks to me. This is definitely the one to get. He's still a great figure, but I mean, there's a lot of bad things about this guy. I will make a comparison in the video between the two later so check that out and for the kicks I stuck the jetpack on his back it fits him pretty well it's pretty nice one thing I didn't even realize is that he has smokestacks and he doesn't that's pretty interesting uh, but other than that the pack does work jetpack does work so yeah pretty cool And here is Ultra Magnus leading the Wreckers as he's been doing that in the latest episodes. And there's Optimus in the back. I like the size comparisons. He's not as tall or big as Optimus. Uh, but he's the second biggest compared to everyone else on the team. So it's pretty good. And here he is of Megatron. The I should have been made bigger Megatron. Not a bad size comparison. They basically are the same size. But overall I would give the edge to Megatron just a little bit. As you can see... When I do this, I actually measure the top of the head right here, as you can see, and not the top of the horns. So Megatron obviously is a little bit bigger than him, which is a good thing. He's supposed to be bigger than him on the show when they fall, definitely. So, yep. All right, guys, so there is Ultra Magnus. Like I said, he is my favorite character from the Transformers line. I'm really happy to finally get a nice, decent, solid Ultra Magnus figure. Uh, you see him right now with the records. He looks really cool, nice, big, and intimidating. Hasbro did a great job, like I said, in making him into his own figure and not just a reworked, retooled Optimus Prime figure. Did a great job on the shoulder pads, the chest, the head. The paint, I do wish it was a little bit more screen accurate, but like I said, they did a great job still accenting the body sculpt and with the dark blue and whatnot. So they still did a great job. I like it a lot. I never collected the Fans Project um, Ultra Magnus from the Transformers Classics. So I can't really compare, but I do, I might have to say this is a really great figure and might rival that one. Because at least this one, you don't have to build, which I think is a lot better. And it definitely looks really cool, like I said, with the Wreckers. So that's basically it, guys. Agree with me or not, this is a great figure. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, you guys can pick it up. Definitely get this one compared to the first version, um, because this one's ten times better. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe. Do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to wildandcustoms.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.